And here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I almost fell. Well, here we are another day. And now it's time we fix the damage that we caused the other day. You know, we always have to go back and fix it, I guess. Uh, once we get this, we're going to build a little area right here, fill it up with some cement. And once we get to that, then we'll take and get to inside there. Inside the tank, whatever. <laughs> By the way, you like my hat? This is the Dr. Seuss hat. You know, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Mark, we'll see how many layers we strip off before the day is over, right? <laughs> So I'm obviously upset here. I was holding it by the screw rather than uh, holding it by somewhere secure and uh, screw slips and the drill bit goes right into my thumb creating you know a little bit of blood puncture wound. Uh, key, key takeaway from this is don't act like a dummy when you're doing your stuff. Always think about what could go wrong and then just don't do that and then you go home with all your pieces and all your bits where they should be. <laughs> Nothing serious, but it could have been, and that's the problem I have with it.
Now granted, it's arguable that putting a 1500 gallon tank on your house is a dumb thing to begin with, but I guess I don't have an answer to it. It probably is a really dumb thing. <laughs> also, you know, I didn't think about it while I was installing everything. My neighbor has vultures as pets. Yeah, you know, you think I'm weird. He uh, apparently throws chickens outside for the vultures. Yeah, chickens. And I didn't think about that. I thought about the neighbor's cat, but I didn't think about the other neighbor's vultures. <gasps> How crazy is that? So, yeah, so far, if I had to do this again, you know, if so far I would go back and I would still do this. Oh, I talk about my aquaponics, I share it with people, I love it. It's been a lot more fun than I ever expected, but the reason for the aquaponics is because I'm one of those freaky people that I look at the world around me and it scares the hell out of me. And so this is my contribution, the aquaponics is my contribution to the family where my son's growing up with this crap, seeing that, Let's see if I can get a little bit more into the, <coughs> here we go. So my son's growing up with this crap, you know, watching me do all this stuff. And I'm hoping that he can take some of it to heart and understand it. Cause you know, I grew up with this from my father I mean, he wasn't this crazy. At least I don't remember him being this crazy, but my dad was smart, he is smart. He's still around, he's very smart today. I owe everything that I have to him. Uh, and I try to remind him of him every, remind him of that every chance I get. But, uh, you know, I want my son to grow up uh, seeing projects like this and seeing that there are no limits to anything that you want to accomplish. Uh, this is for anybody really, but my son especially. And so, you know, he'll be able to uh, survive. There's a textured side to it where there's fiberglass nylon reinforcement here. You hear my nail on it. And so the textured side, the silicone bonded to. However, the blue side up here, the thin stuff, I'm sorry, the smooth stuff, for the most part, the silicone didn't bond to. Um, you know, there's, I'm under a house, there's not a lot of free air, so maybe it was that I didn't give it enough time, maybe I didn't clean it enough, it doesn't really matter at this point. The, the, the problem is that with this bonding, this is what I'm doing for the next probably eight hours. 